Jason? You hear me? Now we do. Okay. okay. So let's introduce uh, Nate Biz Biz uh, Bizanson. Bizanson. I'm sorry about that. My tongue is tugged. NJ8Z, Hams and Hackerspaces. So I want to start off actually with a real quick show of hands. How many folks here are a member of your local hackerspace? Uh, that's actually super good. <laughs> Hi, Frank. Um, and how many are aware of what hackerspaces or makerspaces are? So, okay, so the difference between those sets, I'd like to figure out what's keeping you guys out of your local spaces because I think there's a lot of synergy that we can, that we can all enjoy. The, the title of this space, by the way, or this talk is about natural synergies from an 80s uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup commercial. He recommends it, rem remembers it. Um, the reason I think this is important uh, is there's this effect in, in um, uh, biology where they talk about the edge effect where uh, you get more biodiversity and more creativity and sort of things happening where, where overlaps happen than you would in any sort of individual like monoculture kind of a place. Um, uh, my sister phrased it that, you know, a musician sitting in a room with a mathematician and a welder and, and an engineer will compose more and different compositions than a musician sitting in a room with other musicians. Uh, and I think that this group is, is probably, you know, we, we talk about uh, a lot about being on kind of leading edge of ham radio and new technologies and things like that. I think this group is extraordinarily, you know, exactly the kind of people who will benefit even more from being around more different people. Uh, so my home space is uh, I3 Detroit, which is just up in Ferndale, about a half hour from here. Uh, but those of you who've come in from around the country, around the world, you probably already have local spaces wherever you are. And, you know, every space is a little bit different, uh, but these are collaborative workshops, and like anything collaborative or, or community-based, it's whoever shows up. It's whoever feels like contributing energy, time, ideas, and the collaborations that happen are a product of whoever shows up. And so whatever's happening in your space uh, will be better with your input. And I would posit that whatever it is that you're working on will be better uh, with whoever else you find to collaborate with. Um, so I3 is 10 years old as of a couple months ago or as of next month, depending on which anniversary you celebrate. Um, 10 years is a long time uh, in, this, uh, in this kind of a uh, world. Um, you know, like the Raspberry Pi didn't come out for a couple years after. Uh, these days it's in everything. And so we have seen a lot of change. We've seen some really cool stuff uh, come out of our own space and others. Um, we're expanding. Uh, right now we're actually running a fundraiser to, to try to raise a bunch of money to move into the other half of our building that came up available for lease. Um, and so we're trying to look forward to the next 10 years beyond now, which is, you know, again, a kind of an unimaginably long time uh, but I know what's going to shape that, and it was some of those hands that went right up, um, because what's going to change our space and what's going to shape it is you. Um, so, so I would like to uh, I would like to actually invite everyone here. We have a, a Friday night social um, when the talks wrap up here tonight. If you feel like going off campus for a, an expedition. Um, uh, I3 has open tours every Friday night. If you've been to your local space, uh, wherever it is that you, that you flew in from, uh, you'll get a kick out of ours. If you're local uh, and you haven't been in for a tour, this is a good time to, uh, to fix that. And I think um, we have a, a pretty decent RF lab. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Uh, that's what I have. Excellent. Thank you.